The committee's report is about how much weight women should gain while they're pregnant. It's a new set of guidelines. And we would like women to gain within these guidelines because it produces better outcomes for mothers and for babies. And the guidelines are based around how heavy a woman is for her height, because we've known for more than 20 years that as a woman gets heavier, she should gain less weight during pregnancy. In addition, each group of, of women in a BMI category um, have a range of good outcomes. At, at a range, they have good outcomes at a range of weights. And so our guidelines also reflect that. So for each BMI category, we have a range of weights that we recommend women gain during pregnancy to produce the best outcomes for them and for their babies. Well, our health statistics in the United States are considerably worse for mothers and children than for other similar countries. And research has shown that excess weight gain during pregnancy is part of this problem. And if we don't address this, the situation will only get worse. Well, the key recommendation is that we want women to gain within the guidelines. Unfortunately, that's harder for women than it should be. Women need to begin pregnancy at a healthy weight. They need to gain within the guidelines during pregnancy. And they need to return to a healthy weight after the end of pregnancy. To achieve that, it may require a radical change in the way we care for women during the reproductive years. We need to help them get to that point of a healthy weight when they conceive. We need to assist them in gaining within the guidelines. And we certainly need to help them return to a healthy weight at, afterwards.